What's cooking, people? Antar1011 back, and I've got a new OU singles battle. My opponent today is Tarakan5. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, but anyway, he PM'd me through YouTube, and uh, we had two battles, both OU, and here you have to see them. Anyway, I don't know if you noticed on his team, but all of his Pokemon are lower level Pokemon, or lower tier Pokemon. I said, wait, you said you want to do OU, I don't know. Yeah, I said I want to do the OU, and so I was like, okay, well, we'll try it out. Anyway, he leads off with his Glade. I was not expecting that, so I'm obviously going to want to uh, pull out my uh, Jufro, send in my Jirachi, who should be able to take any hit from this guy, no matter what he's packing. He goes for the Ice Punch, doesn't do a darn thing. Um, he gets the freeze hacks, which is just funny, um, because it's not really going to affect me too much. Um, I mean, no, it, actually, that's a huge deal. I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, the funny part is the next turn, so um, he goes ahead and swaps into his Mew, as I thought on the first turn. That's the funny part. Okay, anyway, so I get off a of Calm Mind this first turn, and I see this Mew, and I'm thinking, okay, this should be interesting. Um, you know, Mew can do a lot of things, and I just hope it's not a lame Mew like the last Mew I saw. Uh, anyway, I'm back up to full HP with my leftovers, and he goes for the trick. So I'm already thinking, okay, uh, you know, trick on a Mew, that's better than running Psychic and whatnot. Uh, he gives me choice specs, as, um, and I, he gets my leftovers. Luckily, I went for the attacking move this turn. So I'm like, okay, that's actually pretty sweet. Uh, for as long as I uh, keep my Jirachi, I'm going to be at plus one times 1.5. And as you saw, that's a two-hit KO right there. I mean, that did a whole, whole lot of damage. Um, so I'm pretty darn happy. And then his Mew goes for the transform. And I'm like, now that is a Mew. That is a Mew. Anyway, so it's going to resist my uh, attack now. It's going to be at plus one special defense. And as you see, my attacks aren't going to be doing anything, so I'm going to have to switch out. Um, and it really sucks that he's got now my uh, special attack and special defense raises. But he's only at plus one, so it's not the end of the world. I go ahead and send in my Tachikoma, uh, since oh, an overheat is going to hit him super hard. And I think I can probably survive this Psy Shock. Um, Interesting that he went for the Psy Shock rather than the Flash Cannon, um, but maybe he was predicting the switch, which makes sense. Anyway, I do survive. I'm going to be faster, uh, thanks to the fact that I didn't invest anything in my Jirachi Speed. He goes ahead and predicts my Overheat and swaps out his Milotic. I didn't want to overpredict. Um, although, then again, Volt Switch might have actually been able to do a fair amount. Oh well, whatever. Um, so yeah, Overheat doesn't really do much, and I got the Special Defense drop, so I'm going to have to unceremoniously switch out my Tachikoma, and I'm going to go up, go ahead and switch in my Jufro. Now obviously this guy's probably packing Ice Beam, and i got to be careful of that. He actually goes for the Toxic this turn, so uh, a Toxic uh, Jufro is not a good thing, and I do not have a Cleric on this team. I have a Cleric on my other OU team. And I was just thinking throughout this match, man, I wish I brought the other team. I think it would have fared a lot better. Anyway, he switches out his Obsidian X, his, uh, what is that thing called? Um, Registeel. Uh, obviously, I can't do anything to him. I get up, back up to full HP for that, for what that's worth. Uh, but it's not like my Focus Ash is going to be doing me any good, uh, thanks to that stupid, stupid poison. So I'm going to go ahead and taunt this turn, because I figured that he was predicting me to switch, and this thing has so many uh, support moves. So now I can't use Stealth Rock, which is nice. I really don't want him to set up Stealth Rocks. I do have a spinner, but I don't want to have to worry about spinning away rocks. I guess, let's see, how many of my Pokemon are weak to, weak to Stealth Rocks? It might just be the two, but one of them is uh, Dragonite. Oh, well, yeah, I've got a sturdy Pokemon, so I've got three Pokemon who really don't like having Stealth Rocks up. Anyway, I switch out my Jirachi here. I go for the Wish, I'm gonna go for a Wish Passing here. Uh, just basically trying to uh, you know, use my Jirachi in a support role, because that's what it was designed to do, and that Choice Specs really screwed me over for the support role, but I can still do something. Anyway, he gets a crit, which really does suck. I'm. I mean, that's that's really unfortunate, because Jirachi is a physical beast. I think it runs... it definitely runs 252 defense. It might run 252 HP. If it doesn't run 252 HP, it's something close. Anyway, he T-waves my Dragonite on the Switch. Uh, I was glad he didn't go for the Stealth Rocks, I guess. Anyway, luckily I carry the Lumberry, but it's actually not that lucky, because it means that I'm going to have to attack right away, rather than going for the Dragon Dance first turn. So, that Fire Punch only did about half. 
He's going to go ahead and uh, T-wave me this next turn, and I'm gonna, and my poor, poor dragon and he's going to become slow as molasses. I really, really wish I had a cleric on this team. It would be so freaking nice. Uh, but, you, you know, I don't have... It's just the way the team goes. Anyway, he's going to go ahead and iron head me. He's not going to do any damage, but he's going to get the freaking flinch. 30% chance. That is hacked right there. Grumpus, Grumpus, Grumpus. Oh, well. Gonna, he's going to go ahead and withdraw. Makes sense. Uh, out goes my low tick. The fire punch is not going to do anything uh, when I actually use it, except for I'm paralyzed anyway, so it doesn't matter. I think I'm going to go ahead and switch out here, thinking that my opponent's going to use the Ice Beam. I'm going to go ahead and send out Jirachi, thinking that I can take it, and should be able to take anything else from this Milotic. I mean, I... well, actually, I don't, I'm not status right now, so Scald wouldn't be the best thing in the world. But I'm just swapping it in to get off the Wish, uh, just for support. So yeah, here comes the Scald. It's going to do a fair whack of damage. I don't think it KOs. You know, I survive with 50 HP, so Jirachi's doing work, even though it's been crippled. But uh, anyway, I go ahead and switch in Hoover, my Karakasta, as my opponent unfortunately switches out himself into uh, freaking Gallade, which is going... and Gallade on this next turn goes for the trick, which is unfortunate. I didn't think that he'd be running trick as well, and he's banded, so now my Hoover is banded, which is not great at all, because I locked myself into Shell Smash. That's just the worst. Oh well. Um, so Hoover's defense and special defense fall, and well, it doesn't matter. I'm locked in. I'm going to have to switch out this next turn, and that just totally, totally screwed me over. I was just not prepared for his team. So I gotta say, uh, I am extremely impressed by my opponent's team. All lower tier pokes, and they are schooling my OU pokes. Now, granted, this my team isn't that OU horse. I mean, yes, it has Jirachi. Uh, and yes, it has Dragonite, but those are really the only two Pokemon that I would consider horish on this team. Anyway, uh, Jufro gets taken out by an Ice Punch, and that's just sad pandas. I go ahead and send out Tachikoma, uh, just thinking I can hopefully take this guy out. Go for the Volt Switch, thinking that he would switch out. He didn't switch out. Excellent for him. And that Volt Switch is not going to KO, but it is going to do enough damage to suggest that had I gone for the Overheat, it would have KO'd. So that just sucks. Gonna go ahead and switch out my Cosmic F, thinking that he probably doesn't carry the Psycho Cut, and so it should be okay. Um, close combat is going to do more than half, actually considerably more than half. And now I'm, predict uh, I'm predicting a switch, because close combat did lower his defenses. But that's great for me, because I carry Pursuit. So, uh, you know, double power Pursuit, I'll be able to take this guy out, almost certainly, and it'll be excellent. Uh, but unfortunately, he predicts that and goes for the Destiny Bond. I don't know that he predicted that. He predicted me to kill him. But um, goes for the Destiny Bond. I really wonder whether... I have a priority move on this guy. I have Bullet Punch. I wonder if Bullet Punch would have been able to take him out. Because that would have been a superior move. Uh, not, that, not if he's switching. But anyway, so my, my Cosmic F gets sacked. And now I have to really worry about what if my opponent sets up Stealth Rocks. Although this is so late in the game, the game is practically over anyway. So that Mew comes back out. I go ahead and send out my Tachikoma. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the Dark Pulse here and just hope I can take it out. Luckily, it's not a uh, speedy Mew. Uh, and I am going to be able to take it out. Yeah, I'm actually surprised there. If it's running... Um, well, I guess it's a spec set. I'm, I'm actually really curious what this thing is running. Anyway, I do take it out with a super effective Dark Pulse. Uh, my opponent said that he really wasn't expecting me to carry Dark Pulse. I'm going to go ahead and have to switch out here because Dark Pulse isn't going to do anything to his Obsidian X. Go ahead and send out Huff, my Magic Dragonite, who is crippled and no longer has um, the Magic uh, mar multi scale. Stealth Rocks are set up this turn. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, Health gets recovered with leftovers, blah blah blah. Um, my opponent's gonna go ahead and withdraw, predicting the fire punch, and go ahead and send out freaking, uh, what's that thing called? Um, Togekiss. I'm not sure why I went for the Dragon Dance here. I guess I was hoping to get my speed up fast enough that I could outspeed some of his guys. Anyway, he's gonna go ahead and go for the Air Slash here, which I don't resist or anything, and well, just we're getting tons of Paraflinch. Yeah, so para Paralyze, and I'm just hoping that maybe I can 
uh, boost my speed up that I might be faster than this guy eventually. Oh well, no, actually I think I go for the extreme speed. Oh right, that was the deal, that was my, the plan to go for the extreme speed. Uh, but unfortunately he gets a crit, takes me out, and that's just an absurd amount of hacks and I am cranky pants. Uh, Tachikoma is back out now, and I'm not sure who's going to be faster. I think he must be scarfed if he outspeeds. Um, anyway, I resist the air slash, but it's still enough to take me out, and Tachikoma is down for the count. So now the battle is basically over. I go ahead and send out HCHB, who's going to resist air slash. I don't think uh, he can really do anything to me, uh, and indeed, uh, my opponent does go ahead and switch out Togekiss, and switches into uh, Weezing. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Aqua Jet, so I've locked myself into Aqua Jet, and I am banded, so I'm just going to see how much damage I can do. <laughs> not much at all. So this is really not a good situation at all. I'm going to go ahead and call Hoover back. I'm going to go ahead and send out Jirachi. Basically is death fodder, sort of death fodder, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure what my opponent's going to go for. Goes for the Will-O-Wisp. was not expecting that, although that would have been an excellent, that's really an excellent move. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, so that wheezing is really going to screw me over, and uh, the burn damage is going to take out Jirachi before it can pass off a wish or anything. So that is that. Uh, Hoover's going to go back out, but luckily I've invested heavily in Hoover's uh, speed. I think it's, it's adamant max speed. Going to go for the rock slide here, and just hope for the hacks of my own, hope for the flinch. And indeed I get the flinch, which is completely and totally awesome. And I'm just hoping that maybe I can rack up a few kills before he sends out his Obsidian X again to completely ruin my day and end this battle. Uh, two flinches in a row, that's some serious hacks. Uh, I would ordinarily be feeling really bad, but not at this point considering this is my last Pokemon, and frankly I think I deserve some uh, hacks. <laughs> Indeed, I get a crit, so all my all the bad karma is paid right back to me there. Uh, my opponent sends out Obsidian X, and this is good game. There's really nothing I can do at this point. I'm gonna go for the Rock Slide. I don't really expect to keep, go to keep on getting those flinches, but it would be nice. Uh, but no, my opponent's gonna go for the T-Wave, uh, just gonna go for the Iron Head and, uh, Para Flinch, and that's gonna be the game. So, I've got like 30 seconds left in this battle, and it's all just really boring Para Flinch stuff. So, uh, great game, uh, Tarakan 5, um, the next battle that I upload is going to be kind of the part two to this battle. It's going to be a, a rematch, which was with my other OU team, and he uses a similar team that I actually wish that we had swapped teams. I think this team would have done better, better against this other team, and um, that other, and my other team would have done better against this team because. So anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.